Shanti, what should we expect from situations, from activities, from things that we're involved in? Yes. The best thing we can do is expect nothing and we will never be disappointed. Disappointments are in proportion to our expectation. You know? Sometimes we expect and plan. And if something happens and the plan could be ruined. They say man proposes and God disposes. We planned for a nice sunny weather for the picnic and you have prepared everything with the outdoor. What would happen? It starts raining. You will be disappointed. Yeah. So, preferences. So what you do is, if something happened, I can do something else. So be prepared for indoor picnic if the weather was not good. This is just kind of example. Expect nothing from people because people are not reliable. Only reliable thing is ourself. We are the subject. World is the object. People are not reliable. You know, there are your friends when they need something but they don't need it. They won't be your friends anymore. And you expect my friend, how do they behave like that? But it is the nature of the things. So most people are looking for relief. They don't want the cure. And as a teacher or a healer, we want to heal people, make them better. And we get frustrated because they are only looking for relief. So they come to us when they have problem and that things get better, they ignore. We cannot be attached. We expect nothing. So we just keep on doing. We keep on giving. Give with the right hand so that left hand doesn't know it. So this is unconditional service. Expecting nothing from people, nothing from situation. If you expect nothing, Whatever you gain is a gain, but you expect more, then you get disappointed. So many people get become miserable because expectation. One shopkeeper, you know, somebody asked, how was the business? Oh, so bad. I feel depressed. My business is bad. How much did you make? Oh, I made only million dollars. So what's wrong? Million is quite a lot. But last year, I made five million, so I really lost four million. Just imagine. It is no gain or less. It's just expectation that makes big and small. Everything is in comparison. So, same thing you expect. You know, you feel good. You expect everyone to be happy. Generally, problem comes. We are perfectionist. We expect others to be perfectionists. This is general tendency. If I'm punctual in all my appointments, I have natural tendency to expect others to be punctual. I am clean, organized. I expect everyone to be organized. I'm reliable, I expect. So here the thing is, we can be perfect, we become organized, we remain clean, but expect nothing from the people so that whatever you gain won't disappoint you. So just like in life, give up. Like life, there is no guarantee of next moment, you know. But we take it for granted and then we complain, I don't have this, I don't have that, but expect. Life can be gone any second, any accident, anything can happen, any disease or anything can happen. Let go of expectation of long life and healthy life and peaceful life. Instead, just be grateful for each moment, enjoy each moment. Otherwise, it becomes a habit to look for future and expecting, expecting reward. 
everything is in the mind. What is success and what is failure is all created by the mind. There is no such thing as past, future, success, failure. Everything is in the present. So being in the present, flowing with the present moment, actually gives us freedom because there is no future, no expectation, no disappointment. And this is also the idea of contentment because contentment doesn't mean laziness. You do everything you can but expect nothing. Whatever comes is like bonus. We have Bhagavad Gita, Krishna, Lord Krishna says, you have right to perform your duty. We have control over our actions. We have no control over consequences because consequences don't rely on only our effort because it relies on prarabdha, previous actions and previous surrounding. So results could vary. So perform your duty, expect nothing, and whatever comes, enjoy it as prasad, blessing of God, whatever comes, instead of saying more or less. And there will be freedom and peace in the present and forever.